study finds that women who breastfeed may be less likely to develop diabetes and high blood pressure. Dr. Kay Chandler with Cornerstone Clinic for Women is here to break down these findings. Good morning. Good morning. Kay, we appreciate you coming on. Sure. How is this possible? Where's the connection here? Well, they think that actually, you know, breastfeeding burns a lot of calories. Mm. And they also feel like the, that the breastfeeding may be doing something to reverse metabolic processes that happen during pregnancy that can increase these risks. So they're not exactly sure what the link is, but they just have shown that the study was a, a large trial where they put mm -hmm. together several earlier studies yeah. and then compared all the data, so over 200,000 women in each study, Wow. and 15% less incidence of high blood pressure if they breastfed for over a year, and 15% of uh, less incidence of, no, sorry, 30% less incidence of diabetes. Wow. Yeah, type 2 diabetes. So they're still working on figuring out what the connection is, but 200,000 patients in this study? Yes. Seems like fairly strong evidence something is pretty, pretty strong true. Evidence. I mean, some of the, some of the um, you know, drawbacks of the study where it's just an observational study. So, you know, right. observational just means, well, we see these incidents, mm -hmm. but we don't know really, does this, is, does this cause it or mm -hmm. is it just associated? Right. But you know, the gold standard would be like you would actually say, okay, we're going to put this woman in breastfeeding and this woman in not, but you just, of course, can't do that. Right, so, right. Yeah. What are some other benefits of breastfeeding that people may not know of? Well, yeah, that's a great question. I mean, I, I was going to think about talking about that because I was glad to talk about that because it actually can actually reduce the incidence of diabetes type 1 in a baby, for oh, one wow. thing. It has a lot of health benefits for the baby. So for instance, uh, decreasing allergies, food allergies, um, decreasing risk of obesity as they grow up, and ear infections. Mm. And um, yeah, so that's a, those are some positive benefits for the baby. Also, yeah, sudden infant death syndrome is lower in, in babies who breastfeed, but also for mothers that has been associated with a lower risk of obesity in moms who breastfed and even depression. Wow. Yeah. So a lot of interesting correlations oh, there. Yeah. And I, of course, forgot to mention in uh, uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, lower risk of breast cancer right. when you breastfeed. Really, lower yeah. risk of breast cancer mm -hmm. for breastfeeding. Yeah. For women that may be deciding what to do, what are, what are some of the resources you might recommend as they make oh. those difficult decisions. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, breastfeeding is not easy. In fact, I have a mm -hmm. daughter and a daughter-in-law right now who are doing that, and it's hard. It puts yeah. a lot of effort into it, and of course, planning. Um, and, you know, I think my, this is not an expert uh, advice, but I just have noticed uh, through the years that it's like, if you can get past that first, past that first mm -hmm. two weeks, it's a lot easier. It's but the easier. first two weeks is tough. You have good support. Uh, there are lactation consultants, mm -hmm. uh, lactation consultants in the hospitals. You know, take advantage of those resources because they're so helpful with that. Right. Yeah. It's going to be personal for every woman, but definitely at least see all of the studies out there. Try to figure out what you think is going to be right. best for you and you your know. family. And if you can't, some women just can't breastfeed. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, so there's just reasons that that might not happen. So. Hey, we also know there's plenty of things you can do. Walking 15 minutes daily can reduce mm. your risk of diabetes by 30%. Sleeping adequately, huge. You gotta sleep. We have to sleep seven hours a night if we can because that'll reduce our risk of blood pressure problems, diabetes, and obesity. Mm -hmm. There are other disease. ways, yeah, other yes. ways to keep yourself healthy. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Great information this morning. We appreciate it.